Okay, in this part, we are going to take the song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, and we're going to learn the signs. We're going to do the vocabulary part of it. Now, before I get started with the vocabulary, let me do a little encouragement on how to go through, how to go about doing this. All right, I'm going to be showing you the signs for the words. But don't learn it as words. I see this in almost every one of these uh, little recordings. It's so important that you not learn it in words, but instead learn it in sentences, learn it in paragraphs. Okay? Because we don't speak in individual words. We speak and we run all of our words together. We can, even, we can even say them really, 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 really fast. And we understand what we're saying. Okay? The deaf are no different than the hearing in that they would hate having individual words. Understand what I'm saying? So when we do what a friend we have in Jesus, we're going to sign it as a phrase. I'll show you what the individual words are, but I want you to practice it as a sentence. All right. Enough preaching on that. Let's get on with the song, all right? Here we go. What a friend we have in Jesus. Right up front here, we have the word what. What is a question word? It's to, it's, it's what, okay? But in English, we use the word what in weird ways. And we're not translating word for word, we're translating meaning for meaning, okay? That's what interpreting is about. So, what a friend we have in Jesus is really an exclamation. Wow! What a friend we have in Jesus! Alright? And so, we're going to sign... This is the sign for what, just in case you want to know. Like, what are you doing? Alright? What? And we're not going to use that word because this is not a question. We're going to use the word truly. Alright? That's just the way the deaf would emphasize the same way we would use the word what. Okay? So, what a friend. Now, you, you saw I just kind of blew off the word a. Blow off the word a. We just almost never take those little one and two letter words and use them. I think I is the only one that uh, comes to mind right away. Anyway, <clears throat> blow it off. What a friend. All right? And it's hooking the fingers together. I'm going to stand sideways so you might see it a little better. All right? And you can be a friend. You can be friends. Okay? However which way you would like to sign that with whatever emphasis you would like to have there. We have in Jesus. We. The word we is just a pointed to the, to the shoulder. You start on the same side as your elbow. And then you come across and touch on the other side, we have, all right, it's uh, just, you can see that. Lots of different ways to sign the word have, because a lot the word have has, the word have has a lot of different meanings. Boy, say that five times fast. Anyway, have, in, you got a cup and you take your fingers and you put them in there, in Jesus, all right? And Jesus is obvious. It's the center finger touching the palms where the nails uh, would be. Okay? All our sins and grieves to bear. All. Kind of hold up. I'm doing this left hand, or doing this right handed. If you're left handed, you do everything opposite, okay? You make you put your left hand up, put a little roof on the top of it, and then you just twiddle them. That's the best word I can think of to describe that. All. And all can be can be all or all or all. You know, it depends on how big your all is. Our is an open palm. Again, starting on the same side as the elbow and just kind of making a little semicircle across. Just like we, only with an open palm. Have I think, <clears throat> all our sins. It's two X fingers kind of looping forward a little bit. 
sins and grieves. Okay, this is a sign for sadness. All right, don't put your hand over your face. It's kind of sadness. And you can't be sad, all right? You can't have a smile on your face. When you're sad, show some sadness, okay? Grief. To bear. Is that one of two letter words? Kick it out. Bear. And it's kind of the picture I have there. It's kind of like you have Jesus' cross and you have it on your shoulder. All right? It's a bear. It's a burden or it's a backpack or it's that heavy purse you guys, you girls carry. Okay. Uh, anyway, bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Again, what? It's not a question mark. It is a statement. So, truly, a privilege. It's peas kind of circling here at your chest. All right? And I'm going to do that for a couple times because I've seen where this has been difficult to imitate. So, get to where you're doing it the same way I am. Privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Okay, carry. I have, it's like you're holding a tray. I can carry this tray around. I can take this tray and I can put it down. I can take this tray and I can give it to you. Or I can carry it. And where am I going to carry it to? I'm going to carry it to God. Where does God live? Well, the answer is everywhere. In sign language, where does God live? Right up there. Somewhere right up there. Okay? If we can picture in our mind God up here, then all we have to do is refer to Him, and He's always there. Okay? So we're going to carry everything, and that's the thumb is up, and it's going to come across each of the knuckles right across here. Everything. Just kind of cross your arms here, open your hands, and kind of go, everything. Actually, don't open your hands. Everything. To God in prayer. So we're going to carry everything. Now don't come back to here when you're going to do everything. Everything to God in prayer. And I sign the word to there because I'm going too slow here. You can leave the word to out. Carry everything to God in prayer. God. Sign for God is God. It's kind of that hand going out, up, and down. Okay? God. See how that works? In prayer. We've already seen in. Prayer is just like what you would see on any little boy and girl painting of them saying their prayer. There's the first verse. Second verse. Practice the first verse for a while. Come on back to the second verse. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. All right. Oh, oh, coming down, around, up, and just end up where you have finished. Don't do it so slowly, though. Oh, and you know what? This is one of those words that is an emphasis. Your, your face has to show the O oh as well. It can't be O. Oh. Alright? It's O. Oh, what? Peace. It kind of... I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. I'm going to do it sideways so you can see it. You almost try to karate chop the hand here, but you don't really. And you just kind of spread it out. Peace. Peace. All right. We often forfeit. We often, often, they kind of hold up a hand and hit it twice, um, and again and again and again and again. It's anything to do with repeating. That's what that sign's about. Forfeit. Forfeit is to have something and let it go. I have it, and I let it go. Think of it as like you have a, a, a basketball. 
all right? I have a basketball in my hand. I'm going to put it on a table right here. Put it there and let it go. Forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, what needless. All right. This is signed for no, as in none, as in zero, as in uh, don't got any. All right. Uh, yes, I have no bananas. Kind of no. Oh, what needless pain. So needless is no need. No need. And need is nothing more than an X kind of hooking down. Don't know where that comes from, but that's what it is. So needless pain we bear. All right, we've already seen we and bear. So pain is kind of the, the way I think of this is those old Chinese handcuffs. You know, where you put your fingers in and you pull hard and you can't get your fingers out. All right, turn one hand upside down and do it, and then twist. Ow, that would hurt. All right, pain. We bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. All, we've already seen, because, it's kind of like wiping the sweat off your brow and then coming up. Because we do this is the sign for do. Now the deaf don't really have any good s sense of time with their signs. This is do, this is did, this is dozen, dozen, does, <laughs> doing. Uh, all of those do type signs. So that's what that is. And uh, so uh, all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Uh, not. It's the thumb starting kind of almost, not quite at, but almost at your Adam's apple and coming forward off your chin. Not. Not. Okay? Not carry everything to God in prayer. Got it? Next verse. Have we trials and temptations? Have, all right, again, it's like what we have a friend in Jesus, have. We trials and temptation. We trials and temptation. Trials is trouble. And it's kind of like things flying at your face. I do it sideways. And you just kind of rotate them through like that. All right, trouble. Have we trouble? Trials. And it's the letter A. Well, it's not the letter A. It's the open hand, kind of starting opposite the elbow and coming across. And it just comes into where all the fingers are together. So all the fingers are apart. All the fingers are together. And temptation. Temptation. Tapping the elbow. It's kind of like Satan coming up behind you. Hey. You want to go do something evil? Uh, that's where the sign comes from. Is there trouble anywhere? Is. Is the letter I coming off of the chin? Is there. And there is a. It's kind of like. Where is the mess in your room? Well, it's all over there. It's the whole thing. There it is. All right. Is there trouble? Trouble, trials, same sign. Tri trouble anywhere. Any is the letter A. It is kind of snakes through the air coming down. Anywhere. Where? There. What's the difference between two signs? One of them is where? There. If you don't see the difference, it's okay. Okay? We should never be discouraged. We should. Should and must and need are the same sign. So we had needless. Now we have should. Never be discouraged. 
kind of like any, only it's an open hand. You just kind of snake it through the air. Never B, it's the letter B coming off the chin. Discouraged. D's open hands. All right. This is a sign for sadness, all right, or grief, all right. Put a D on it and do the same sign and it becomes discouraged, okay? Take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to the Lord in prayer. You ought to be good and good at that one by now. Can we find a friend so faithful? Can. Two yes hands. This is yes. This is can. All right. Can we find? Find is like you've got a row of jelly beans in front of you, and you're looking for the black one, and you find it, and you pick it because everybody knows the black jelly beans are the best. Find it. Find a friend. So, and here again. The word so doesn't have a meaning of its own. Try to, try to define the word so. It has no definition outside the context of how it's being used. Here it's being used as an emphasis in exactly the same way as what is when we started this song. Okay, so we're going to sign it the same way. So faithful. All right. Faith is F hand coming down. All right. Faith full. Full. It's two, just kind of point and click, click, click. All right. And it's moving away from you a little bit. Faithful. Um, the way the deaf use that word is, for example, do you go to church? Regularly, yes, that's what that means. Regularly, okay. Are you faithful? I have faith regularly, yes. He is always faithful to me, okay. Who will all our sorrows share? Who will all our sorrows share? All right. Now this one kind of is um, a question mark, okay? Can we find a friend so faithful? Who and who are we talking about here? We're talking about Jesus. So we're not going to ask the question though who. It's really not asking who it is. It's asking who, okay? Jesus. All right. Will all our sorrow share? Will all will? Kind of have the hand going past the ear. It just moves forward. Will all our these are signs we've seen before. Uh, sorrows share. Sorrows, grief. We've done that one. Share. It's kind of like. Uh, some for you, some for me, some for you, some for me, some for you, some for me. Sharing. Share. It's not really that back and forth kind of thing, but it's just this hand going as if it's brushing the top here, sharing some for you and some for me. Jesus knows our every weakness. Jesus knows. Uh, and it's just, you put it to your head here and go, no, yeah, I know that. My, in sign language, an open palm is ownership, so it's yours and mine and his, hers and its or whatever. It's directional, you know, yours and mine. Okay. Uh, Jesus knows our every weakness. Jesus knows our every weakness. Ah, I'm sorry, it was our, not my. Our every, and we know that one, weakness. It's kind of like standing up on your palm and you're, you've lost the ability to stand up. You're weak. 
Take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden? Are we weak and heavy laden? Uh, the word are, like is, is is kind of coming off the chin like this. R comes off the chin like that as well. It's the letter R. We weak and heavy laden. We, we know that one. Weak, we know that one. And heavy laden. Burdened. So the sign is just burdened. And because it's heavy burden, it's like, oh, burdened. All right? Put some emphasis in there. Uh, cumbered with a load of care. Cumbered. This is kind of bother. Bother. Uh, in sign language, it's an idiom. You know, if someone's pestering you, you go, that means bother, bother, finish. Leave me alone. Stop bothering me. Okay, cumbered with two hands coming together. A load of care. A load of care. Trouble. We know these signs. All right. Precious Savior, still my refuge. Precious. It's F hands starting here, making a circle, coming up where the circles then are together. All right? Precious Savior. Savior. Okay? This is a save. I cross my arms and I come across. Save. Save me. Is the way I would sign that. Okay? Save. In sign language, when you do this at the end of a word, it makes that word into a person who does that. Did you catch that? Save. Save person that does that. Savior. A person that saves. Understand what? The word I use to describe that is occupationalize. Okay? Okay. Precious Savior, still my refuge. Still continuing. All right? Continuing. You take this thumb, and you take this thumb, and you push it. Okay? Still my refuge. Safe place is a refuge. Safe, save, same sign. Safe place. And a place is the letter P. And you start with your, I'm going to exaggerate it, P, making a circle, and then P close to you, all right? But it's really a place. Don't make it so big. Place. Uh, safe place. Still my refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise forsake thee? All right. What is being asked here? Do your friends hate you or leave you? That's what's being asked here. All right. And it uses thy. All right. Thy is old King James for you or your. Actually, closer to your. So do your friends hate you or leave you? That's the way we're going to sign this. Do thy, okay, remember open palm, your friends despise, forsake thee. <coughs> Sorry. Do thy friends despise, despise. It's kind of like the center finger here and you're, it's flicking it away. It's kind of like if you stuck your hand in the garbage disposal, cleaned it out, and you went, ew. All right? Despise. That's to hate. Forsake thee. Forsake. Again, it's like taking a basketball, putting it on the table, and leaving it. Uh, thee. That would be you. Take it to the Lord in prayer. All right? We should be getting that good at that by now. In his arms he'll take and shield thee. In his, remember, open palm, 
and he lives up there. So his arms karate chop the, the shoulder, come down, karate chop the shoulder and come down. Now I say karate chop just to give you the, the how what the hand's supposed to look like. Do not try to chop off your arm, all right? In his arms, he'll take and shield thee. Heal, all right? And the word is heal. It is a contraction. Sign language, there are no contractions where they take two words together and make one. So what we have to do is take those two words and disassociate them and what I call decontract them into he will. He will um, take and shield thee. He will take and shield thee. All right. He will take, and it's like you're going to grab a, a fly out of the air, you know, catch it. Take and shield, protect the, kind of like football, all right, the, uh, thou wilt find a solace there. All right, vocabulary. Thou is you or y'all. Uh, thou is old King James for y'all. Will find a solace there. Solace. Peace. Or ah, relief. Either one of those signs would work well. Thou will find a solace there. <laughs> I've been fighting that sneeze now for <laughs> since I started. Okay. Thou will find a solace or a solace there. You can find peace. You're going to find relief. Uh, the word kind of has both of those meanings in it. So whichever one is easiest for you to sign. Okay. All right. That is the vocabulary. Work with it. Uh, again, do it in whole sentences not individual words. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there at LTC. Good luck.